This is natural disaster which is occurred when a wind is blown heavily in a forest. The striking between two trees caused this natural fire known as wildfire which spreads in no time. The fire in the forest is so quick because the trees are fuel combustible so it fires in no time. So we have figured out a solution for this wildfire to monitor it in a minimum stage creating project named automatic forest fire monitoring and measurements a massive step to save nature. The disasters occurring due to this wildfire are soil erosion, deforestation, the loss of animal shelter, extinct of species, the mankind who lives there will be destroyed and mainly huge loss in view of land area. In the wildfire, the smoke is having a huge density which increases CO2 level in atmosphere since it is harmful for us too. So let us see the present technique used to find the location of wildfire. Normally, forest department used to find the wildfire by the means of satellite images taken by NASA. The images taken by satellite are like a cloud formation in the forest region. After finding the location, the forest fighters move to the cloudy region. But they couldn't find the exact location where the fire is initialized. For example, for example in late 2000s, the Israel has faced a wildfire which long lasted up to three days. Nearly 3 million acres of the land have been destroyed. Later on, the firefighters even couldn't try to stop the fire because the fire is in enormous form. Let's have a look on the statistics of the wildfire till 28 May. In this present year too, there is a loss of 8 lakh acres and the highest in 2006 of nearly 8 million acres. So, what if the fire is monitored at minimum stage? We have planned to use unmanned aerial vehicles or fire resistant with cameras for visuality of what's going on over there and also sensors with GPS to get the exact location. So, we are going to use optical smoke detection method to find the location of the smoke. Then we can send nearly three quadcopters to the location of the fire or the way the smoke is detected. It will go to the location and divide the section of visuality. So, the view is totally perfect. We can get values like the how much the temperature is and also the smoke density. Now, we can send two quadcopters into the smoke area and it scans where the actual flame is there. If it found say flame, it sends the text like flame is detected to the workstation and also the location or we can use image stabilization process to view parameters in graphical representation too so that it can be easily used by user. Let's have a prototype review. So this is the this is not a, the actual copter we are using but this is for this prototype model we are just using a copter which is not a fire resistant but for actually we use a fire resistant copter in this model so we are using the galileo board and also the gsm module another smoke sensor temperature sensor and also the flame sensor these three sensors are integrated with this galileo board by coding and also interfaced with this GSM module. So now this this totally is a fire resistant. It will be covered in a fire resistance box so that if these materials, this equipment goes into fire also, there will be no harm for our devices. So now let's see a demo. If we find if we find like the smoke over there from watchtowers or by the optical smoke detection, we are knowing that there is a fire. So we are sending our copters to that location in a way like this. So it moves all over the way. It detects what is there. It detects the temperature, it detects the flame and the, all the parameters over there and gives us a text message at present like temperature, the gas density and also the flame is detected. We can also have a GPS by using GPS we have an exact location like we are getting the actual latitude and also the longitude of our fire location.
let us see the application of this project it is very low cost and this quadcopter technique is very less expensive we couldn't use the manned aerial vehicle because it is too cost and the main disadvantage is the man couldn't survive inside the fire so for actual immediate response we can use image stabilization process to view in graphical representation so this project will be succeeded if higher officials could help us we thank intel for giving us a great opportunity thereby we conclude that we are glad to give our project to the firefighters who are sacrificing their life in wildfire thank you